Welcome to part one of the greatest rivalry ever in your season 72 of the UAAP. Please welcome the starters for the quintet celebrating its centennial year in 2011. Here are next year's UAAP hosts, the De La Salle Green Archers. At guard number seven, Simon Atkins. Guard number nine, Joseph Morata. Center number 15, Ferdinand. At forward number 10, Joshua Webb. And at forward number 11, RV Bringas. The head coach of the Green Archers, Franz Wamaren. And now, celebrating its sesquicentennial 150th year on December 10 of this year, here's the starters for the defending champions, Ateneo de Manila Blue Eagles. At power forward number seven, Lonoy Baclau. Forward number 13, Ryan Buenafe. Center number 19, Roba El Hussaini. Guard number 11, Eric. Well, the starters on your screens for the big game that will end the first round of the Nail versus LaSalle. Following, by the way, that big game between FEU and UE earlier on here in Araneta. Awesome. FEU getting the uh, number one spot temporarily. Uh, Ateneo now will try to catch them. Not the force of LaSalle will allow them. Well, by the way, all of their shoes are in yellow laces. Nice. Nice touch That's the yellow ribbon yeah. that they tie their shoes with. Uh, Looking at the starting fives, blue. Look, at the, look at that, Arneta. Look at the sea of yellow there. Just, just small tinges of blue and green, just to remind you which side you're looking at. But looking at the starting five, yes. same starting five for Coach Franz Fumaren that he had against CLC for Ateneo. Interestingly, uh -huh. Ryan uh -huh. Buenafe is starting uh -huh. today. <laughs> so they meet again. Yep. Buenafe and bring us for the very first time in the UAAP right away at the buzzer. Right from the get-go of the game. The first foul called already right away to the rookie. With Ryan Buenafai in the starting lineup, I don't know what this is going to do with the best scoring of Ateneo. I mean, we, we, we noted that he, together with Salva and Monfort, are the three best scorers off the bench. But with him starting now, it might even know where they're scoring off the bench. We'll see how they adjust. And a second foul called on LaSalle, this time courtesy of Joshua Webb on the driving Ryan Buenafé, the rookie of the year last year. Now on the line for the first three throws of the ball game between Ateneo and LaSalle. 30 seconds gone by. That's the situation. Coach Norman Black, the defending champion, a former consultant, and uh, was brought in as a consultant, then replaced Sandy Arespacuchaga as head coach. Sandy, of course, a long-time assistant and is still there, the side by side, with Coach Norman Black. And Ateneo on a one-week break before this game. Jessica Mendoza will tell us more about that from Ateneo. Go ahead, Jen. Yes, Boo, well, last time the Blue Eagles had a, a week-long break. They lost to UV. Coach Norman Black believes that this time the boys are going to come in energetic and refreshed as they, they practice five out of the seven days since the game with NU. Now, Coach Norman stressed the importance of respecting all the LaSalle players, noting that Coach Franz Pomaran uses almost all, his entire roster in each game. This means that the Blue Eagles have to be vigilant and ready to take on whoever among the Green Archers might deliver today. Boom and TJ. Thank you very much for the Sanchez courtside update, courtesy of Jessica Mendoza. Again, respecting the opponent, that's what Coach Norman wants. LaSalle, how can you not respect a four-game winning streak after losing its first two? And again, coming back in style against USD, down 17 and turning it into a nine-point win just in case TJ people have exactly. had out In the meantime, Jai attacks and puts it in! First two points for Jai Reyes. And the first field goal of the ball game. Nice look there by Jai Reyes. 
not settling for those jumpers or those outside shots when the shot clock is winding down. He can and he should look for more of his points in the perimeter. Joshua underneath, quick oh, release oh, on Dono oh, wow. wow. Not intimidated by Raba or Nono. Here comes the press from LaSalle. The number one team in steals and the number one team in forced turnovers. Jai missing. And Atkins with a rebound. Looking to push. Obviously, this is the base that LaSalle wants, right, DJ? Exactly. And look at that challenging the defense of Raba Alusani early. I mean, they're not going to their best player right away, but Ferdinand. If he can get good position inside early against Raba, why not get in the ball and try to get that foul trouble out of Raba? And they force a turnover. That's what we're talking about. Let's look at a couple of sequences here brought to us by Smart. Smart Instant Replay. We're helping sports. La Salas actually seventh in terms of inside points, obviously. But now the inside-outside game clicking for them at the opening minutes of this ball game. And a funny thing about uh, Joseph Marata. Yep, you know, we were looking at the stats very closely. Joseph Marata has not made a two-point field goal all season long. All his points have come from beyond the arc. And so fitting, his first three points of the game from beyond the arc again. And he is shooting a shade under 39%. Seven to three is the score courtesy of La Salle. A lot of the rookies experiencing Daniel La Salle for the very first time, and Erin Tarejon has a report on that. Go ahead, Erin. The Green Archers play with heart, and this is exactly why they were victorious in their game against USC. But a week has passed, and the boys wasted no time in getting ready for today's game against their arch rivals. And well, you know, since they're a young team full of rookies experiencing such a matchup for the first time, I spoke to a few of them, namely Bringa, Tolentino, and Marata, and all of them are more excited than nervous despite the pressure. RV even added that this would be a challenging game going against his former teammate. And lastly, Coach Franz tells the boys that this will be an emotional game, so they have to stay focused. Booming TJ. Thank you very much, Aaron, for the Samson courtside update as we see Raba Alusene get his first two points courtesy of a dime drop by Ryan Weatherford. Well, I know Baba Bola, get that ball high above your head. Don't bring it down, bring it straight to the basket. Use your size advantage in the last thing before that. Raba recognizing the collapsing defense, finding Eric Salama for the wide open three pointer. And we'll go back to your points later on, DJ. As Bringas tries the outside shot and he gets it to go from deep. Boy, wow. And you know, we always talk about these things, uh, DJ, when going back to Eric's report, you know, rookies are playing in the very first at the Nail Assad game. There will always be emotional, there will always be that amount of detail that has to happen. It's just a matter of facilitating it the right way. Exactly. And bring us getting the board here and bringing it down against Buenafit. He cops out. That's the wise thing. They got 17 on their 24. Bring us thought about it. He's up against Donald Baclau. Backs him down. Picks it out to Webb. Webb inside. There's a travel and infraction called on Joshua Webb. Still his number one Waterloo. That is his Waterloo right there. The travel. Look at this nice kick out. Beautiful spacing by Ateneo, recognizing the collapsing defense of LaSalle. Not yet a hard double team, but just a collapse, but enough spacing to get Eric that wide open three. A great assist by Raba, brought to you by PS Bank. Simple lang, Mahasan, LaSalle, four out of six so far in a hot start. Ateneo, not too bad, three out of five. Both teams already with a couple of turnovers to their game. That's that killer move of Raba, the drop step, the pet move of the reigning MVP who is looking to bounce back after two miserable games. And if you're in the South, you, you're going to have to decide where is the help going to come from, from the middle or from the baseline. You're going to have to look at the tendencies. But Rabo likes to mix it up. He can go in the middle, go for his jump hook, or go with a drop step and go straight to the board. If you missed the pregame show earlier with, with us here again, recapping what PJ discussed earlier as you look at Nico Salva. Raba Alusani, first four games, a shade under 19 points a game in the last two games. Eight points, and the worst part is the 28% yep. shooting. And you know, there was also some foul trouble involved there. Right. You can imagine a frustration in a couple of games. Uh, but if you want to put a positive spin on that, PJ, if you're rooting for a Pinero, you have Raba struggling, and you're still 5-1. That means he, it's, it's a real team effort. We've got a lot, a lot of guys who can and have step up. And on the other side of the fence, 
when you're rooting for LaSalle, you have nobody starring in most of your games. Yes, the last one was Bringas, but right. in most of the games, there's no real big scorer, and you put together four straight wins. Exactly. So some positives for both teams. Now they start to miss. Jai Reyes in traffic, kicks it out. 10 on their 24. They're looking for Raba downstairs. Raba with a couple of pivot moves. Puts Beautiful. it up and in. Beautiful move right there. Faking off, bringing it into the baseline. Just getting in a little off balance enough to spin to the middle. One of his favorite shots, that jump hook from eight feet. Two out of three from the field so far for the reigning MVP, who looks very focused. Eric Salama is near unstoppable in open court. But there, Raba Alessani trying to clean it up. Eric could not close. A two on three, so Atkins waits for more. Marata throws up the three, that's way off. Bringas drives, fakes, goes to the other oh, look side. At look at that, RB Bringas, watch your height. You know, a lot of people were worried. Can Bringas really play well against the bigger, heftier big men of Ateneo? Look at that crafty move under the basket. Nobody giving an inch as we go into this Samsung timeout with Samsung Imagination Lives. That's the midway point of the first quarter. Jairus looking for the high-low play. They reset. A kick up. Buenafe shoots the three. That's short, and the rebound controlled by Ferdinand. All the way straight to Joshua wow. Webb. But what a great oh. find by Hiram Pagatze. And a great catch, and still keeping his balance enough to go straight up to the layup. Jai able to get into their attack zone with 15 on their 24. 18 footer is short. McLeod cleaning up the glass and picking up some scraps. Unable to put it in though. Here comes Bagatsing again surveying the floor. Goes to Bringas for another three. That's short. He picks up, or maybe that Manabes picks up the miss and four minutes to play here in the first quarter of this Ateneo LaSalle game. Well, with the 14 points already scored by LaSalle, but you're not seeing the best defense of Ateneo so far. Look at that. It's a sensational drive by Joshua Webb on Donoy Baclao. Again, LaSalle is the number seven team in inside scoring, but today they have seen a lot of inside points so far. Webb with six points to three out of three. Oh, what a Eric shot. Salama to bang in the pocket. Man, what a shot with the right hand. Mind you, he's a lefty. Not an easy shot with the pump and keeping it up there. But you know, Ateneo's got to solve their defensive problems. Here's the bang in the bucket play, courtesy of Eric Salamat. A strong power move on PS Bank. Simple lang maaasahan. Manufacturing a shot. Five team fouls already. For LaSalle here in a freebie courtesy of the former San Sebastian staff. Bring us, by the way, two out of four from the field. And now we're saying two out of three. Salamat also the same with two out of four. Six points. No call there. Bagat Singh. This is a five on four. Webb again sneaks through and draws a foul. Yes, they do. And he knows how to get it through and at least get that ball to the glass even enough to just get some contact. You know, he knows he's undersized. He knows sometimes he's slower than his defenders, but he finds a way to get there. Jalabi Young double, doubles duo. And it is Arby Brinas, Joseph Maraca so far. Maraca on the bench. Enjoy the best things in life. As Joshua Webb, the only player who had his jersey retired in De La Salle Zabel. Wow. Awesome. At number 10, jersey of his in Zabel. Oh, yeah, yeah. awesome. a couple oh, championships. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? So they retired yeah. his jersey. The only player. So from now on, no more number 10 oh. for De La Salle Zabel. Kurt Long, sporting the crew country, is in the ball game now. And this is the bench coming into play. And this is one of PJ's points prior to this game. And it's almost a traveling infraction. And the eye on the page is composer puts it up in it. You can see the intensity in his eyes. You can yeah. against Ferdinand. Yeah. You know how much he did so well against Ferdinand in the last year's finals. It's yeah. the same kind of face that you see on Rabat today. Focused. Very focused. Ferdinand looking to get back. Goes to the other side. Raba shuts the door on him. Now we've been with Raba. Picks it up. Three to shoot for De La Salle. Now we is rejected and turned away by Nonoy Baclao, who averages two a ball game. In those last two sequences, you've seen better defense by Ateneo. 
compared to when Joshua Webb was eating them alive inside. Asal with a one-point lead as we head into a Samsung timeout with Samsung Imagination Lives. As now, James Malas has come on, but then Malabes or De La Salle are in the lead by one. Kurt Long able to get it to drive. Then they go back down. Rabbi doesn't like the play, he shakes it off. Kurt Long. They reload to Jai Reyes, 10 on their 24. Jai swinging it over to Salamat for three. That's off. And now he picks it up, sends it over to James Mangas right away. Great attempt of a steal by Kurt Long, but nobody was there. As Pavel Malavis picks up a two. Lasalle is doing a great job of pushing in transition. They are not hesitating when they see the opportunity to run. It's a great drive by Kurt Long. The window shot. Well, that penetration, the lead is one. It's always been the dilemma of Coach Ronald back. The difference of Long and Jennifer. Benefit, not a good defender as compared to Long. That's why he was, you know, blown by by Joshua earlier. Now Long's in the game. Now you suspect his offense. Will he be aggressive offensively? But there gets it back and then sets up Ferdinand. Ferdinand hesitated on the near sight of Norman Bakra. Why would it be? Well, he is the best shot blocker to believe. That's the best shot blocker tied with Alvin Ramos. Turnover number five for De La Salle as Nico Salva has come on now. For Coach Long and Black, Kurt Long and track beat. Loses possession a little wild on that one, but a foul is called on Hyrule. It goes with the little bumps and grinds that LaSalle tries to get away with in this one more press. When they do get away with them, you can see a turnover and a steal by LaSalle, but sometimes they do get caught with those fouls and they have to watch them. Salamat so that that gets the applause from the crowd, but the same for goes out of the once he started for Coach Franz Kamani. Kurt Long! This is his first preview. We're seeing members of the Batch 87 on the Cisab team. Some of them, Alcin Lucero, Alcin Lucero, of course. And they're all sitting together. Watching us here. The stars, the celebrities, politicians, they all come out. Is that how old they are? That was 22 years ago. <laughs> oh, you said it, not me. Okay. <laughs> We're squared again. Clear deadlock for the ball game at 20. They nail five out of seven from the free throw line. The only two turnovers so far. Mangas pushes his way in. A great tip ah, in by Jovi Mendoza. Rabba did not see him from behind. If you get a look at the inside game so far, LaSalle having their way against Atene. Look out! Steal from behind. Simon Atkins with one minute remaining with a takeaway. Uh -oh. Inside points again. Back-to-back wow. -back hits by the former MU Bullpark. You can look at Coach Robert Black. Now he's so shocked. Where's my inside defense? On the other end, was Rabba going to the bank and depositing a Twitter. Ten points on four out of five shooting for Rabba al -Husseini. But given the fact that Ateneo is scoring, but they can't go in a scoring contest, they know their strength also is being the best defensive team in the league. And so far, their defense has not been up to par for Coach Robert Black. Imagine this now. As we look at this, Alaksan FR power fast play of the game. Body paint kahit saan, agad talab ang Alaksan FR. Both teams are really pounding it inside. De La Salle with 16 points in the paint. Alateneo has 14 so far. But the surprising part, of course, is the La Salle part. That's Mendoza. He checked. Oh, He's still hot. <laughs> I can do it from the outside too, says Jovi Mendoza. The big man of La Salle going inside and outside. First it was RB bringing us earlier. Now it's Mendoza. One point. The pass taken away by Mendoza. He's been doing it all in the first minute of his presence here on the court. It's a preemptive foul on the drive by Pater Malavis. And the one point, by the way, is already checked in for Ateneo. 26-22, this is the biggest lead for LaSalle. The second personal foul, by the way, on Kurt Long. Referees Mangibin, Pineda, and Marave patrolling the court right now for this game. Malavis for three, puts it up, that's long. And Austria with a second remaining. What a pitch. Ooh.
would have counted. That would have counted. He had good line and good strength. 26 points, DJ, by Danosal after the first 10 minutes. This is a clear indication by the numbers. Ateneo is not playing the kind of defense they want to. And even if you see what's happening, La Salle's players are driving at will to the basket. Silver works. There's no substitute. Welcome back. Boom Gonzalez, DJ Monotom. For you, for ABS CBN Sports Live, an exclusive high definition coverage of the UAAP Season 72. La Salle with a 6-2 run to end the first quarter. DJ, all those six points from Jovi Mendoza. Bench points for La Salle yep, coming into play. Shut the door there. And it wasn't just the points for Jovi, he caused two steals. One he completed, and the other one, actually two, yeah, he completed two steals on that full court press. So, doing it on both ends of the court is a guy off the bench for Lasal, Jovi Mendoza. And that's what has been happening for Lasal in this four game winning streak. They're just finding heroes off the bench. BJ Barua, if you remember, a couple of times. A couple of shots, as Mahas with a pretty move, but able to close it out. You can see Coach Franks from out of continuing to want to attack the defense of Ryan Guinefez. He's back on the court right now. Armed with a four-game winning streak. Well, at the near, after losing to UP for, for the very first time here in the season, come up with two straight wins. How important was that USD game? Ooh, saw not only the fact that they won and how they won four, but how they won. How they won. That was a huge, huge win for La Salle. I mean, you could have written a better script of regaining your confidence and discovering that heart to win with a double overtime victory. I mean, you could have done it better. And you could have defeated it. Yeah, what a perfect timing going into this tight ball game, as always. For the side. That's Vito Salva against Mendoza. Battling. Salva, but it's a traveling infraction. Giveaways. Another turnover. 52 mark. Hey, she might be the next it girl. Is that her number? Well, better jot that down, boys. I'm sure she's definitely, definitely worth the call. I'm stuttering with with the, the video being shown right now. Back to the ball game in the meantime as Mahash continues to miss from the floor. Bagunosia. They swing it to Ryan. Ryan hesitates, goes baseline, and it's called. Foul, I believe Simon Atkins called for this one. A better job now by Lasalle in denying the three-point looks of Ateneo. But they're going to have to do a better job of closing out and not fouling too much. That's the bump right there. Caught on our smart instant replay. We're helping sports. I say let him take the shot first. Oh. Joel Tolentino, former RPU team member. And the rookie. Now coming in for Lasalle. Trying to chase down the pocket rocket, Evan Morton. Nico. A bad pass. 2-1-1 on, on the other end. Malabes sends it over to Joel with a fly-by move. And a goal pending. Infraction called on Nico Salva. Joel Tolentino, the, the grandson of former longtime senator and former vice presidential candidate. Arturo M. Tolentino, as we look at our clear precision, stop clear, man. No dandruff, just Good job there. by Malabas in playing the passing game there. So far, La Salle has done that very well in getting their steals by playing the passing game. So not gambling on the dribblers, but playing the passing game so well. One for for three, gets it to go! A pocket rocket, master of instant offense, Emma Montfort. You know, the four games, that he played against DLSU in season 70. If you remember DJ, the last time that he was right, in the UAP, he, last year. he had a total of three points in all of the four games. Wow. One out of seven in 38 minutes. Look out! Action underneath, and it is two points. Curtis Chua for Ateneo. 28-27, let's go to Eric Torreon from the LSU. Go ahead, Eric. It's been three months since the last match 
relationship of these two teams and the archers have come a long way as coach france reminds the boys that they have already found their rhythm so the important thing to do now is to relax and just keep passing the ball around but at the same time he wants the boys to keep putting pressure on the blue eagles because they will keep trying to break down their defense and he doesn't want the boys to back down one bit and this will be possible as the archers are determined to give the 110 percent in this ball game boom and tj not only have they found their rhythm there and they've also found renewed confidence in their play with that four-game winning streak. I mean, how can you doubt a team coached by France Kamada after only losing its first two games? I mean, if, if you've been around the UAE long enough, you just don't do that. It's that, you know, Coach France said it the perfect, you know, the rhythm. It's something they've been looking for. You know, your confidence bonus then, yeah, but yeah. the rhythm, it's going to be there. Let's go to Jessica Mendoza from Ateneo this time. Go ahead, Jen. Earlier, Coach Norman Black reminded the Blue Eagles of their goals, which for now is to stay in the top two of the league. This means that they got to lock down that key and limit themselves scoring to 15 points per quarter at the most, according to Coach Sandy Arespacochaga. Now, Coach Norman Black insisted that the players get on top of their man immediately. He said, we got guys scoring that don't score. Don't take anybody for granted. Woman TJ. Thank you very much for the Samson courtside update. Jessica Mendoza, 28-27, only seven minutes to play. And another foul call. On a Belasau player, this one called on Maui Villanueva. Well, they're doing a better job of defending here in the second quarter. They did allow Lasau 26 points in the first quarter, way above the 15 that they wanted. But they've only allowed them two points so far in the last three minutes gone by. You know, um, when you look at uh, Sir Mike Enriquez joining us today, going back to Jessica's report of covering every single match, I think that was because of Joby Mendoza just knocking right. down jumpers. Yep. And they, they took it for granted as Kish Kuo in the ball game, sends it over to Joshua Webb. The most unlikely guys to lead the fast break for LaSalle Kish Kuo. Spinning down and finding, who else? Joshua Webb ahead of the pack. Joseph Hill, one of the better finishers on the fast break, celebrating that layup. And the lead is back to three, 30 to 27. LaSalle very aggressive. Jua against the Trada. It is Salva from 15, That's his shot. Back. That is his shot. A nice recognition by Jason Chua when he saw the defense beginning to collapse down on him. Open look for, for Nico Salva right there. He shoots pretty high. He shoots at 55% within the two-point range, talking about Nico Salva. So you cannot leave that guy open. Montfort holding on to the Dermalaves at the 556 mark. Of our first half, first personal Final call Delisau, on the pocket Archer. rocket. We got a timeout with Samson. Imagination lives. Stay with us, please. DJ Walsh, Mac Macadona, Rico Meyer Hoffer, right behind the bench of De La Salle. The game is at the 556 mark of the first half, 30-29. It has been nip and tuck all the way. The biggest lead for both teams. But six for La Salle, three. For Ateneo, Webb puts wow. it back. Lucky break there. Joshua Webb just finding the ball bouncing his way after Nico Salva and Justin Chua fought over that rebound. Webb so far with 12 points leading the scoring parade for both teams. Ryan Benefe is back. Salva from 18, sends it over to Montfort for another long two. Nothing there. Webb, great box out on Ryan Benefe. Exactly, good box out of good timing on that jump. Make sure he gets that defensive rebound. Three rebounds for him, together with 12 points. And by the way, he is spotless from the floor, talking about Joshua Webb. Here's Casal again, trying to attack the mismatches. Salva, able to repossess that ball. They send it over to Justin Chua White. Not be the right guy to give a deep pass to him. And then he ran out of real estate. I mean, the ball, the pass was going to be caught when he would land like a few inches before the baseline. So nice effort, but not calculated enough. Although Ateneo, as we look at this smart instant replay, smart we're helping sports, Ateneo's known to develop big men in terms of running the break. Right. You can go back to Doug, you can go back to Clayford Arau, you can go back to you know, all the big men that have run the break. Rabba Luseni, of course, Coach Norman Black. Wow. Knows that. Yeah. Yeah. Kishko gets inside. If you're Ateneo, you're seeing too many white shirts Get in the paint, untouched. I mean, you gotta challenge him more. That's a great point. Go for the blocks. If you get fouled, then fine. You get called for the foul, but at least, at least you'll be showing more intense defense. You know, they've only given up four personal fouls, team fouls rather, 
all in all in the first half. Wow. There you go. Webb slips and slides and is fouled. And it will be called on, uh, I believe, Salamat or Bueno. Oh, uh, Coach Raman cannot wait any longer. He's going to bring back his best shot blocker, Rone Baclao. He doesn't like the red carpet being rolled out for all the DLSU <laughs> slashers. Here, come on in. Layup time, round robin. It's not supposed Paparazzi. to be that way. Yeah. Exactly. And Joshua Webb, Kishlor, teaming up for a Jollibee Young Doubles duo candidate. Enjoy the best things in life. And if you're LaSalle, they're doing the, the right thing. Joshua Webb is doing exactly the right thing. Driving hard, you know, eating up the, the weak defenders that are put on him. And hey, nobody's helping up top of the rim. Why not? Finish the layups. Easy. 12 points already for Joshua Webb. Five out of five shooting from the field. Two out of three. From the free throw line, they got three out of four. And he's only averaging seven points a ball game. And the energy man, as we look at, of course, the ambassador for Kenny, with Chris Chu on his left, the white man on his right. Is she the referee? Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, but they're friends, and it's always good friends. Yeah, best friends, they say. Yep. And the first time that they're watching a game right. together. Exactly. That's how they game together. And they're both in yellow. As Sumalino hey. announces his entry with a three ball. Rolled off the bench and come from. Michael Sumalino, or Cazar Christopher Sumalino, only his second attempt from three. And he makes one. And he looks like he's got a specific assignment here ah, to here stop Joshua Webb. I can see it in his face already. And Joshua welcomes it. He welcomes it right away and attacks him right away. Joshua likes it. He, you can see the smile on his face. I'm going to eat you alive. He has just been driving at will. Open happiness with this shot from Christopher Sumalino. And Coca-Cola, open Coca-Cola, open happiness. Joshua Webb now back on the line where he is shooting. Three out of four. And of course, Norman has yet to try going zone. I mean, LaSalle has had their outside shots go a bit. We got one from Mendoza and from Bringas. But they're not the real shooters, you know. You shouldn't be worried about those guys hitting three-pointers. You should be worried about the guards hitting three-pointers, but they haven't yet. So maybe one way to stop the slashing, or rather the easy slashing of LaSalle, is to go 2 three zone since he still cannot find that one defender who can stop Joshua Webb, who now has 15 points in the ball game. 37-32. Salamat sets up Beautiful. Rada. Oh! oh! Turned away by Andrada. Clean block there by the rookie. Boy, that's got to be the biggest block of his early UAV career. He's still smiling, DJ. <laughs> he loved it that much. Reyes, back to Raba from 17. And it, he runs out the clock. <laughs> Look at Andrada's reaction. Wow. And we got to see that. It's and, so nice. And boom. we got to see it twice. Boom, that's his second jump. He jumped That's on right. Eric Salama. That's a second jump. You're right. Awesome timing. Awesome wingspan, too. A shot yep. block brought to you by Rexona. Ooh, Rexona, after every bath. And you know, LaSalle is wanting in a real shot blocker. They are wanting this year of somebody who can provide that. BJ bumped, puts it up, goes to the right. The tap from Andrada goes to Jai Reyes. 2.45 to play in the first half. And the lead is still five for LaSalle. The biggest was six for the season 70 champions. Nonoy, little bump. An offensive foul called on Nonoy Baclao. Kishkor putting up a stone wall to draw that one. A little too strong on the back down there. And helped a bit by some nice acting from Kishkor. It always helps with the referees to grab their attention on those bumps. Nine turnovers for Ateneo as we go into this timeout with Samsung Imagination Lives. And we'll taking a quick look at the field goal numbers, although you will see them later at our halftime uh, analysis. But Ateneo is shooting very well at 52%. So there's no problem with their offense. It's their defense. Oh, sorry. It's, uh, they're shooting 41%. It's their defense. They're allowing LaSalle to shoot an awesome 52% from the field. Remember, this is a LaSalle team that is averaging, what, 30-something percent from the field. And again, this is an Ateneo team that is number one in points allowed, exactly. right? They are the number one defensive team now. Actually, they're tied with MVU and allowing only 59.8, so what, 37 points. A 
That's big numbers as Malabes throws up a prayer. A short shot by Bader. It's only a five point lead for Lasal though. But if you're Lasal, you like it. Husseini, Andrada on him. Andrada trying to pick his pocket wow. and again turns him away. But that was an ugly shot to begin with for Rabat. Talk about forcing the issue. This on top of the circle, rattles out. And Uder Baklao climbing the ladder for that rebound. Rabba has Kishko on him now. He wants this matchup. One field goal only for Ateneo DJ in the last four minutes and 30 seconds. And it continues to happen. That drought continues. Joshua sidesteps, slips and slides. Nope. And again, Baklao comes away with another rebound. That is his seventh of the ball game. Awesome defensive presence so far by LaSalle. Even with Atene, all their guns on the floor right now. Now Rabba has to think about passing. And Rabba comes away. It's too much of just one pass, one shot. There's not enough ball movement for Atene. Not enough movement without the ball. Cut into the basket. We haven't seen that. Remember in other games, you'd see Nico Salva cut to the basket or Nore Baklao cut to the basket when Rab was posting up and getting doubled. Yeah. We haven't seen that in the first half. 37-32, Webb again drawing the foul, putting his head down, DJ, and seeing what happens. At will, and you know what, they got it figured out. He drives to his right, that's his strongest side. There have been times he's driven left, but look at Somalino. Just square, you gotta deny the right and force him left, that's his offhand. Caught in our Smart Instant Replay, we're helping sports. Somalino called for the foul. Baklao was there to prevent the three-point play opportunity. By the way, Joshua Webb with his 16 points, wow. already a career high for him here in the UAAP. His previous high was 13 against UP. He looks like he's playing still with DLSC. This looks like the Joshua Webb of Zobel. Playing play against high school kids. That's how much confidence that you can see in Joshua Webb's game today. And there's a, a little more control, and, and Franz Fumaren gives him a body bump for the kind of energy that he has provided for De La Salle. Again, he has always been energetic, but he has not been able to channel right. the right way back in the day. And he has done that today. Salamat is rejected by Andrada. Third block of the day by Andrada. Oh, nice five! But Bakla was there for the coverage. 24 seconds remaining here in the first half. Malave splits the double, puts it up, and draws the foul. And again, it's they're making it look so easy. LaSalle's guards, LaSalle's forwards. It's like a press of a button on your PS3. I want to drive, I'm getting in there, and I'll just get fouled or get the layup easily. 15.8. Seconds remaining, here's another Rexona shot block. Use Rexona after every bat. Another angle. Yutien Andrada with the wingspan. And you know the nickname that his teammates like to give him. Tayshawn Prince. Oh, that's right. In fact, they don't like calling him Yutien, they call him Tayshawn. His first Ateneo LaSalle experience. Not too shabby. Pretty good at the defensive end. You got Salamat once, you got Rabba twice. 30-32, the biggest lead of the ball game for LaSalle. Fifteen point eight seconds remaining. And Ateneo will have the last shot. They go to Eric Salamat with six. He puts up the three. A surprise three. Andrade was there for the challenge. And he has done his job defensively. Absolutely. Awesome minutes for Andrada. As DLSU DJ outscores Ateneo 10 to 3 in the last 5 minutes and 50, looking at the power raid hyper play of the quarter. Drink up, power up, sports is what you make it. So it's a 10 to 3 run in the last 5 minutes and 50 seconds for DLSU and DJ, nine of the last 11 points of DLSU coming from guess who? Mr. Energizer himself, Joshua Webb. That's right. And that's why he is the Jollibee champ of the game, leading candidate, big burger goodness like no other. It is the biggest need of the ball game for De La Salle at 40 to 32. A 
We're back here on Sky Cable 166, experiencing everything in high definition. Thank you very much for watching as Arty bring us knocking down a turnaround jumper to give them the biggest lead of the ball game at 42-32. Raba has had problems with Tayshawn Andrada. And he has been his nemesis here in this game after shooting four out of five. He has gone zero out of two in the second quarter. And Andreo Boom still opting to go man to man and not trying out a 2 3 zone to stop the penetrations of Casal. And now it's Kurt Long trying to stop Joshua who traveled right there trying to get around to help people. We welcome you back also to Studio 23. We kicked off with an RB bring us turnaround to bring us to 42. 32, the biggest lead of the ball game. And just to emphasize what DJ mentioned at halftime about the lack of defense by Ateneo so far, 32 points from the De La Salle front line, 15 from Ateneo, 17 of those obviously from Webb out. 32 to 15 is the advantage on the front line scoring. Long lets it fly, that short. He comes up with his own miss and his foul. Simon Atkins, if I'm not mistaken. Good news for Ateneo. A whole half to recover. And we have seen so many games so far here as we look at our clear precision stop. Clear man, no dandruff, just cool air. Again, the long arms of Andrada is making life miserable for Raba. You go back to UP Ateneo, go back to La Salle USD, you go back to all of the other games. This just not a team that you can take for granted. Yesterday, uh -huh. and you beat Adamson. UP led USD for a major majority of that right. game, and USD upended UP in the end. There's it has been a theme here, DJ. Expect the unexpected. Yes. That's exactly, exactly what it is. Expect the unexpected. And even Andrade today was unexpected to play so many minutes and be this effective. And he's being rewarded by Coach Franz. Uh, Webb was a little wild on that play, but they hit the foul on Kurt Long. It's been forgivable. Coach Franz has allowed Joshua Webb to run loose. He's like, go at him. And here, in our Smart Instant Replay, we're helping sports. At the start of this 72nd season, DJ, everybody's talking about Ateneo, FU, Ateneo, FU, the disparity, the discrepancy between those top two teams and the rest of the team. But now, I think all of that has been shuffled already. Even, even if you... I mean, considering the team stands, it's obviously not an area you have to watch. But the way the games have been played. As Andrada saves it. Wow. And it will be at the narrow ball. Coach Grant Kumari doesn't like the call. It happened right in front of him, but nope. Referees. Man. Mangibin, Pineda, and Marave all call at the narrow. Look at the action. Mark, it's the replay. Everybody diving everywhere. There's a touch by Webb. Does anybody else from the Ateneo touch this? Oh, that's tough. It Somebody's was on someone's foot. shoe. Yeah, Somebody's someone's foot. shoe. I wasn't looking at the feet. It was either on Baklao or Webb's foot. One point is back in the ballgame now early here as Ateneo is taken away from its comfort spot. They go back down. Again, oh, wow. those long arms of Andrada. And, and who? You're not kidding. I was looking at them after we last mentioned. Oh, he's got really long arms. And look at his frustration foul on Raba right here. He got that right. He, he's got it into his head. And Raba, and we've seen him frustrated before. Oh, yeah. Yes, we have. We'll see exactly what this called. To me, it looked like a really strong shoulder bump, but I probably at it. a better angle, he may have done something else to warrant that specific call of an unsportsmanlike foul. Look at the right That's hand of Raba. A bit of a... Uh, I don't know from that angle what we can see, but the referee was right behind him. So if there was a closed fist or anything, uh, you know, more than just a bump with the arm, the referee would have seen that. So from that angle, we didn't see it. Not unless we have a reverse angle. But nonetheless, Coach Norman that pulls him out, trying to pull him down. As you can or like they like to point the call and Tayshawn turns Andrada goes to the line for two free throws, missing the first his first free throws in this season. The UAP is zero out of two in 
that area. He averages just 11 minutes of ball game. Right now, he already has nine. Two steals, three blocks. Wow. Two on Raba, one on Eric exactly. And yeah. they have to sit down Raba. You're talking about his wingspan. Yeah. It's no joke. He's listed at 6'5", but with his arm length, I'd say that's a wingspan of a guy 6'7", or 6'8". He's one of those players who has longer wingspan than yes. the actual height. Exactly. RV against Nono. RV has been quiet after the good start. Atkins with a handoff. Back to Andrada. Puts it in! Oh boy, what wow. a lay-in and against the best shot blocker of the league, Nore Baklao. Yutian Andrada is playing the game of his life early in his UAP career. And then Gigil, let us see RV bring us. No need for that, not 30 feet from the basket. We don't want to do that kind of pressure on Nico Salva. Let's go to Jessica Mendoza for a report from Ateneo Jeff. Boom, at the dugout, Coach Norman Black brought the boys back down to earth. He looked selfish the first half, he said. He told his bigs to put up that health defense and reminded his point guards to call a play and get organized instead of forcing shots. As long as the Blue Eagles limit those turnovers and rebound the ball, he said there's no way that they can be beaten. He, towards the end of the timeout, he challenged his team, saying, do you really want to win a championship this year, Boom and TJ? Thank you very much for two things. Uh, Taneo did take a while in that locker room earlier, TJ. Thank you, Jessica, for the Samson wow. court side update. Look at Joshua Webb, Boom. Uh, one against four on that offensive rebound. Who wants it more? Who wants it the most? You know, again, winning a championship is one thing. Defending it is always oh, tough yeah. for us. Andrada lays it up and in. That is an example of a finger roll, but the assist also brought to you by PS Bank. Simple lang maasahan. You don't need a guy. Yep. Those are very not being, not being intimidated. Who's behind him? Who's around him? Right now, let's go to Aaron Torreon from the LSU side this time. We can't relax. We have to be aggressive. This is what Coach Franz wants the boys to play in this second half because Ateneo will want to come back and the Archers cannot afford this. The coaches also commended the boys for their performance in the first half and they simply have to match the performance and even intensify it to end strong in today's game. Lastly, Coach Franz had reminders for the boys not to be scared to take a shot and they really have to lessen those fouls. Boom and TJ. Thank you very much, Eric Torreon, for the Samsung courtside update. Doing well defensively. And they take away that possession. No, it stays with Ateneo with a block from Simon Atkins. The tip in, still no go. Still nothing for Ateneo. Scramble. Montfort takes it out with a fresh shot. Wow, but you can see the hustle points have been going the way of Lasalle. Eric says, let me take care of this. But now is tripped and fouled at the same time. So much raw emotion awesome. on the floor right now. It is collegiate basketball at its finest. And Eric Salaman has to do more of this. Number one, be the leader on the floor. They look, they look shell-shocked right now with how well Asal is playing. Look at this block from behind wow. by Simon Atkins. Another Rexona shot block. Use Rexona after every bat. UAB as at its in most yep. intense right now. You know, boom. No matter how we try to slice it and dice it and look how well Asal is playing, one word comes to mind right now, comparing this game to UST Hart. Uh, Asal is just the, has the heart to play and win this game today. They have been showing more heart than Ateneo has today. So far. So far. Salama takes it away. Salama maintains his dribble and a double oh. dribble in front. Who's going to go behind the back when it got stuck with his leg? The refs caught that. Salama is showing a lot of intensity here. Will he be the firecracker? We're at the nails. We look at our C2 best cheer of the day. Enjoy the best things in life with C2 Green Tea. Six minute mark of our third quarter. Hiram Makatsu staring down. Taken away again. Salama just bumped. No ball. Ball. loses the ball. One for takes it and a foul finally called on the Okay, the so ref is they've taken it back. It's a very late call, but the lead ref saying there was a foul on 20 minutes. Is put his head down here in this game and just let adrenaline take over. Absolutely. 19 points for Joshua Webb. He's on the bench as Baklao tips it up and in. And set up there, a different look for Ateneo there. Now it's the guards posted up. You know, Eric Salamat can do that depending on the matchup. Three points, eight rebounds. Renone Baklao, BJ is trapped. BJ gets out of jail and sends it over to James Mangahas with 12 on their 24. Mangahas. 
Oh, what a spin. Doesn't get the shot though, and Baklao comes down with his nine recovery. Who would have thought that the Sal would lead by this much with Mga has score left? Yes, that's right. Bonford this is on the three. Trinas dribbles it out of trouble. Sal looking for a five-game winning streak after starting off zero and two. And they're looking for a three-game winning streak after losing to UP. Harvey steps back for three, that's short, and Salva plucks it down for his third retrieval. And Salamat gets it to the attack zone. Salamat shoots the three. Wow, people are starting with this. A little too early in the shot clock there. And that's not how Salamat takes his threes. He likes it off the kickout pass, not off the dribble. Everyone downstairs to the last. Tap from behind. Goes to Malabes, throws up another three, back irons that one, and Andrade comes away with his third rebound of the game. Still a three from Barua. Doesn't find it smart. One for Pops out, sends it over to Eric. Waits for more friends. Back and forth we go without any conversion. Salama goes to the spin cycle, sets up Salva, too deep underneath. And Andrade taking it away for his fourth rebound of the game. That is huge. Andrade may not be the best one-on-one -on -one defender, but so far today, he is showing so much for the help defense of Lazao. Malaves navigating. Lazy pass by Bader Malaves. Bajo Austria. Calling out the play. 15 on their shot clock. Salama drives, initiates, and facilitates, and he puts it in. Nico Salva off the Eric Salama assist, who, by the way, is tired as anything right yeah. now. He is huffing and puffing really badly. And they've tried to do a better job of that, but because Josh Webb's out of the floor, so it was a little bit easier for the balls to figure out. No smasher for the side. Oh, what a step wow. through move! A sensational step through move by Hyman Bagatsing as he twists himself like a pretzel. And five feet away, standing there watching him, was Rafa Alusini. No help defense from any Athenea big man with an easy layup and from Bagatsing. Hey, sorry, DJ, but they break the drought, the four minute drought yep. of the LSU that Hyman Bagatsing shot. Jovic Mendoza called for a foul. 2.32 remaining, Joseph Yo, you're looking at him. And our Jack and Jill, fantastic moment. Jack and Jill snaps. Life is fun. Rafa Aluseni went zero out of two in the second quarter. That is when UTN Andrada came in. The former Philippine Christian University standout now on the line for his first attempt of the free throw line here in the second half and looking for his first point in the second half. There you go. No rebounds, though, for Alusani. Yeah. Well, let's see now. With Andrade on the bench, if, if Raba can get his rhythm back, he was really frustrated with Andrade. And the coach Raba pulled him out for a good one, four or five minutes. Yeah. They're approaching the 210 mark on the third quarter. PJ Barua again missing from three. He has missed a myriad of three-point shots here in season 72 before making those two big ones against USD. And now he missed two again as Bonford steps into the two-point zone. Nothing there, Mendoza blocks down the re repossession. Good rotation there defensively by Lasalle. No matter what, I think tried to do without a shot blocker. And he had a shot cover. No easy to speak of shot blocks. Nice defensive stop here. And Mahajas is one guy who's struggling for Lasalle. He is not limited minutes yeah. because Webb, who plays his position also, has been playing incredible today. Salamat on those students, resting a bit. Part of our job of the young doubles duo candidate to join the best things in life. Donald McLeod joins him in that category. A minute 35 remaining. 48-42 is the score. And the kick out to no one. And that's another turnover for Ateneo. They give the ball back to LaSalle. Not good spacing there. But that time around, they had a better idea as compared to earlier, just kicking out for the three. Salva was cutting. We mentioned this in the first half, that there have been no cutters in the paint for Ateneo when Rafa is getting double-teamed. Okay, 
looking for Manajas, who is zero out of four from the field right now, just to emphasize your point, as Maui Villanueva turns the ball over for Lazar. Powerade hyper play of the quarter. Powerade sports drink. Drink up, power up. Aira Bagat Singh with a step through move. Sports is what you make it. 40 42 with 66 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. Salvo from 16 moves a little bit closer. Brings it back out to Raba who gets that to triple in. Better patience here. Better patience. Not forcing the shot. And better spacing too. 50 seconds remaining. Raba hounding Jovic Mendoza. Bagatsing wants the isolation. Double team on him. Mendoza thought about it. Spin cycle move! Oh, oh my gosh! What a move there by Jovic Mendoza. Oh, wow. Spectacular players coming up with spectacular shots here. Especially for LaSalle. And you gotta get credit. The strategy of Coach France to attack the weaknesses, to attack the mismatches. Raba had to help down on Jai Reyes. A quick release by Raba. Just doesn't get it to roll in. And LaSalle, now with a chance for the last day in the third. Barua wants a three. Steps back. No. That would have been big for LaSalle. Two seconds to go. Run. Ryan right knows it. Goes all the way. Oh, wow. And no call. No call. Another charge or a block. And they will probably count that because it looked like it was good. It looked good, but the refs will have to take a look at it. It was very, very close. But great, great composure by Buenafe. Yeah, to not jack up a three or force it up. It just went through. Uh, looks good, looks good. Oh, very yes. good, with point four to go. Point four to go, and Ryan Buenafe flips it up and in. And for Buenafe, that is only his third point of the ball game. First DJ. field goal of the game. You're right. And they obviously count the shot, which brings us to 50-46, courtesy of LaSalle. It is Ateneo versus LaSalle. Welcome back also to Studio 23. For those who are watching us live, and for those watching us on balls, Channel 34, for the replays, we begin 50-46, to and Joshua Webb is back in the ball game, and he misses that one, though. But he got the block. He blocked Nico Salvo's jump shot. That started that fast break for them. As you look at the quarter scoring, the South scoring has gone down since the beginning of the game. And even Ateneo, they haven't been scoring well at all in the second and third quarter. Well, Ateneo shooting 35% from the field, while uh, La Salle really dipped at 36 uh -huh. from a 52 shooting percentage in the first half. Webb crossed the foul again. Well, I guess the knees are good. Yep, yep. I wouldn't be surprised even if there's the play there. This kid is a warrior. This kid is a warrior. And they know they have a chance to win this one. Yep. Scoring 50 points against the number one defensive team with the number one defensive player on your screens right now. But somebody else has to step up for Lassar. I don't know if Webb can continue to do this all in his lonesome together with the help of the hustle of Andrada and Mendoza. Oh. Guys like Bagat Singh, Malabes, Mangahas. The guys you would expect, the veterans you would expect to step up for LaSalle, they have been absent today. How about the shooting from the line for Webb? 10 out of 11. He, wow. shoot, he shoots an 82% uh, clip from that area, but today, really, just proven. And he doesn't, I don't jinx him either. Huh? I wonder what nice words his Uncle Jason had to say to him before coming to the game today. Minute gone by here in the fourth quarter. Thanks for watching us. It's Ateneo Lasalle, the last game of the first round. And oh, again, it's, pass. it's a bad pass and great coverage on the web. Puts it in over Ryan Bonifay. Same thing in the first half when Lasalle was getting their steals. Why? Because they're playing the passing lanes very, very well. They're not just gambling on steals from the guy dripping the ball. They're playing the passing lane. Jai loads up a three, gets it to go! Boy, they needed that. Badly, badly needed that one. And, and for Jai too, for him to wake up, they've got to have a guard, a veteran, to wake up and lead this team here in the fourth. It's a long two, actually, that they credit to Jai Reyes, I believe. Let's check back in the meantime, it's 54, 49. And 8.05 to play here in the fourth quarter. A foul, body up. And 
Sagrada on Raba. You know, going back to the last play of La Salle. Adam Bagatzing had another wide open three. Let's take a look at this. Good clear position read. stop, Good read yes. by Malabes. A clear position stop, clear men. No dandruff, just cool hair. All right, check that. Jair Ayas, three points. Okay, it was a three. All right, All right. this one is three. As Baclao misses on the hook. And Andrada comes away with another rebound. That is his fifth of the ball game. Oh, for Webb, almost, but not quite. Well, he did look at Quenefe. He gave him a, I think he stuck out his tongue a bit when he caught that ball, so maybe his own swagger distracting that shot. He did, uh, he did uh, the Eric Salama yep. move, didn't he? Oh, yeah. Let's go to Eric uh, Torrejon, rather, from DLSU as Jai Reyes you sends know, another baby home. Really are today, and they're also playing with high energy, which has not died since the start of this game, as they constantly cheer each other on, which is helping the boys focus as they listen to the coaches when they tell them to keep pushing the ball and to get those rebounds. The goal for the Archers in this last quarter is to make it harder for the Eagles to score and to force them to quit, Boom and TJ. Thank you very much, Eric Torreon, for the Samson courtside update, and I apologize for that earlier. By the way, Jai Reyes has knocked down the second triple of the ball game, eight points for him, and more importantly, TJ, they are within two. Yep. As I see this open happiness with Jai Reyes and Coca-Cola, open Coca-Cola, open happiness. And it was a wide open three. Why? Because of a bad decision defensively there by Bader Malabas. You don't play under the pick and roll against Jai Reyes. Every time he goes pick and roll, you go over the top and deny him the three. Jessica Mendoza with this report from Ateneo. Go ahead, Jeff. Coach Norman is keeping it simple in the huddle, saying sprint back on defense no matter what. Although there was some improvement in the third quarter, the boys still need to up their supportive de defense on the post. Coach also told them to rotate the ball and not waste time on indecision. Shoot it, drive it, or move it, he insisted. Finally, the coaches reminded the team to keep their heads and focus despite the intensity of the crowd. Women TJ. Thank you very much, Jeff, for the Samson courtside update. That's what coaches sometimes preach. Don't watch, don't look, don't hold on to that ball. Uh -huh. Either shoot it, you pass it, you move, you dribble. Exactly. Six on the 24. Malabas up to Webb. Webb, and again, another traveling infraction of Joshua Webb. And Ryan Buenafe tells him, Yep. That's the call, buddy. And now this is where the mind games yep. come into play here in the fourth quarter. Who can keep their composure the most? That's a major component of any Ateneo La Salle game, dude. Yep. yep. More than any other. More than any other two teams. As Papa puts his head down and draws a foul. Now a little life from the Ateneo side. And it came from the two triples from Jai Reyes, who, by the way, before the fourth quarter, was one out of five from the field. And those two triples gave him six points as we look at that in our smart instant replay. So you're seeing a lot more aggressiveness now from the guards of Ateneo. In the first half, they were very, you know, they were just setting for outside shots. Okay, Raba gets double team, Raba gets the side in defense, kick out, I'm three for three out there. Now you're seeing more cuts. Now you're seeing more slashing in the paint and better defensive stop, which is no wonder why they brought down this lead and it's only down to one. Solitary point, and they are now within whispering distance. A chance to square it all up. And they do, and only our fourth deadlock of the game, TJ. The last time was at 20, and the crowd behind us has come alive here at the Araneta Coliseum. 6.35 to play in the fourth. Oh, look at this matchup. It's Webb versus Baklauna. And Dono is taunting him to shoot. Webb drives. And it's blocked by Dono Baklau. And now this is the Eagle game coming up to play. It is. Baklau wanted him to drive. Asking him to go into that snake pit. This Jai hesitation move. Puts it up. No. But there comes away with the rebound. Raba comes down hard. Badly on that left angle. He's still down. He Obviously, is. they're not going to stop play because it's with LaSalle, but there are misses, and LaSalle fails to take advantage of Raba being down, and there is a collective gasp here at the side of the Athenians here at the Araneta Coliseum as he holds on to his ankle. He twisted that left ankle. We don't know how bad. We'll take a look on the replay and see whose foot he stepped on. Joshua Webb. There you go. But he still oh, he went for it. He still went for it. Oh, there, twice. No. It that was, was on Bader. It was on Bader. It was Bader, Malabe's foot. Unintentional, of course. 
and there was already a minor twist stepping on Webb's foot, and then after that jump. Wow, with a, with a twist like that, I don't know if you can sit him back in this game. 23 minutes, 13 points, five out of nine from the field. For Rada Aroseni, the reigning MVP of the UAAP, and he's hearing it from the crowd right now. Will this be a distraction or a source of motivation? Oh, this yeah. could even yeah. spur the, the emotions more about the nail, but going back to the defensive matchups. Baklao on Joshua Webb. Is this a shock kind of defense by Coach Norman Black to hold it off to the very last to the fourth quarter? Hold your best defender to the fourth quarter? Could be. We'll, we'll find out. And it makes sense because you'd rather have Joshua Webb jacking up long shots. Yeah, exactly. Joshua Webb. Disco taking it away, but a great tap by Bajo Nostria. Baklao ahead of the back. Simon trying to chase him. Baklao oh, steps, steps on, the, steps on the baseline. Good hustle. Simon Atkins running back. Even though you don't get the steal, sometimes your hustle and your aggressiveness on defense can force turnovers, just like what Simon Atkins did. There you go. Oh, he was way out of bounds. And I'm going to get the coach Franks here. Rada is out. So he takes out Andrada. Brings back Harvey Brinas. Who has more offense, obviously. Mangaas, who has really had a miserable game. Bakor, a set-up job. Mangaas, the teardrop. Still no luck from James Mangaas. And the tap going to Ryan Buenafil. Good cap there by Jai Reyes, of all people. Tapping him out of the hands of a white shirt. This is going to go down the wire, 54 all. What did you expect, anyway, from Ateneo and Lasal? Regardless of rankings, regardless of team standings. They are going to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Chai from 16. And RV tracks down the repossession. Webb jacks up a long one. Oh, man. Big three by Josh <laughs> Webb. Major confusion there. Ryan Guenepe was signaling to Baklao. He's your man. He's your man. What happens? No defender. Three-pointer for the makes, man playing the game of his life. And he makes me look bad. I did say you'd rather have him. Yep, take the three. We'll take the outside shot. We're getting a report here from Antonio Spencer. Rapa did sprain his left ankle. Oh! Yeah. Great stick back by Bamba Nostria. Sorry, DJ. Jessica just informed us that Rapa sits up and put it back in the game. We're going to try to get it back in this game. 15 on the 24. Mangahas. Ball taken away, he's just out of his element right now. Webb, as you mentioned, he's running on fumes, but also running on just, just adrenaline today. Just adrenaline. Here's that pass. And here's the three. He rises, he rains, he drains. Joshua Webb caught on our smart instant replay. We're helping sports. Prior points to, to the bench. Prior to that, one out of nine this season. From the uh, three-point yep. area. And by the way, a footnote on that, DJ. He is the first Lasalle player to uh, the highest output rather by a Lasalle player this, this year. Season. Surpassing the 21 points of Brinas. Oh, 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 look out. Uh oh, uh oh. Look out. Right in front of the this bench, too. We wanted. This but the coaches are doing a great job. Yes. Coach Jackson Chad, the coach Dean Tukumaro, making sure nobody off the bench comes in at Latin Austria who undercut Joshua Webb. Let's look at that again. He undercuts him on this loose ball. Instead of jumping up, he jumps into Joshua Webb. Okay. Very clear foul here. So foul called on him. The, the, the LaSalle bench wanting an unsportsmanlike foul, but then Joshua, oh, there oh, was a kick. There was a kick. No wonder there was a very clear kick, which the refs did not see nor call. So that reaction by Austria was instigated by Webb's kick. But nonetheless, the first motion was called, the undercut. There was a clear call. But Webb with this a kick. Is, this was the foul that you were talking about. Which is duly called. It's okay. duly called by okay. the refs. Okay. I don't know if they'll call it the sports like, but here's the kick. There yeah. you go. That should be called. I don't know if they can call it on the replay. The refs are looking at the replay here. The same thing. Exactly. Adamson, the same thing. So there's an unsportsmanlike foul called on Webb for the kick. Oh, Emma Atkins too. We don't see what he did. Yep. So a technical uh, foul, I guess, for the taunting. For the reaction. For the reaction, yeah. There will be two free throws plus ball possession to the Ateneo. And so, Ateneo's only behind by one. Yep. So this 
is a crucial point of the ball game. It's an unfortunate swing for LaSalle. Why? It should be their ball. Yes. It should even be could even be free throws for Joshua Webb because he was the one who was fouled. That's right. But the hap the things that happened after the call, the unsportsmanlike foul on Webb, the unsportsmanlike foul on Atkins, outweigh the technical foul for taunting for Baco Nostra. So he gets two free throws and Ateneo keeps the ball. And the unfortunate but the more unfortunate part also on a personal note for Webb, he has been playing the game of his life. Yes. And if this game goes down the wire and this will be the turning point of this game, Joshua's going to knock himself in the end for this one. Yep. So we're tied. At 57 all, the fifth deadlock of the ball game. Just as we said, with composure. Yep. In a game like this, it can, may, can be a major, major component. Salva comes out. Hold on to your seats, Philippines. Daniel Lasal, part one. And we are all squared up. Salamat, the cutting Salva. Gives it back to Salamat for three. Gets yeah. it to go! Beautiful patience and decision making by the sophomore Nico Salva. Not forcing it inside, realizing that all the defenders have collapsed and kicking it out to a wide open Eric Salva. And that's a four point swing for Ateneo. Yep. Kishko sees daylight, puts it up. There's a foul on the driving Kishko. That you give them to Nonoy Baklao, seeing the dipsy do attempt of Kishko. Look at this patience here. Triple team, no problem. Wide open, Eric Salama. A Bang! A shade under 30% from three-point area, shooting four out of 10. Today, Powerade hyper play of the game. Powerade sports drink, drink up, power up sports is what you make it. This is not a dunk ball game, but this is the biggest lead of Ateneo, by the way. Anthony. Just go with a chance to put some points up as we look at this ankle, I believe, of Raba Al Hussein. And we did get an initial report that he would try to come back, but the way he looks, I don't think so. Just go. One out of two. Jump ball. Possession of the face of the game. Remember, if they do go to the last two minutes, if there is a jump ball, there will be a jump ball. Okay. They will do no possession, the possession arrow in the last two minutes of the game. Now, coming out. 3.15 to play. Will Ateneo join FEU on top of the leaderboard, or will LaSalle continue its winning ways? They are on a four-game winning run. Why is Kishko guarding Eric Salama? And they still can't get it to him. There's a mismatch there. Seven on the shot clock. Three-minute mark of this game and oh, a traveling man. infraction. Unfortunate there for Ateneo. Kishko was assigned to Eric Salama. And Eric wanted the ball badly. So for some strange reason, Jai Reyes is not looking at his side. Turnover number 16 for Ateneo. They're at their average right now. De La Salle is at 14. RB bring us the rookie. Webb goes down to bring us against Nico Salva. Bring us posting, backing down Salva. Good defense, great Ooh. reverse move, but even better defense by Baclao. But a foul again called as Kishko will go back to the line. Good help defense there by Nono Baclao. Oh, this is an interesting great. matchup. One and one, Salva against bring us. He knows him. He's played in the NCAA Juniors a couple years ago, so he knows the kind of game that bring us has at the post. So it's an interesting choice to put on bring us and the help defense from up top from Baklao. Well, it's really not one of his uh, strengths. He's only shooting a shade under 31% of that area as you look at Edward Montfort. Sal behind by one. And this is how it's going to go down for these two teams. Coaching will also be a major factor down the stretch. 2.30 remaining. Interesting decision by Coach Norman here to keep it with oh, hook. Hook out. Eric saves it, but he saves it to a LaSalle player, but he steps out of bounds. Better break, actually. Lucky yes. break that he stepped out of bounds because Kishko would have had an easy layup. Going back to what I wanted to say, Coach Norman has decided to stick with Baco Nostria in the small forward slot rather than Baclau or Ryan Buenefe, Long or Ryan Buenefe. Smart instant replay, smart. We're helping sports back to the live action. 
It is LaSalle with possession, 17 on their 24. They're gonna go again to the fatigue. Joshua, does he have enough gas in the tank? Everybody else has been cold. Oh, it's gut check time, TJ. Fatigue. Injury, fatigue. Because it's gut check wow. time, and he sends it over to Kishko as we enter the deep waters of well, this ball game. Last two minutes brought to you by PS Bank, Simplan, Ba'a Asaha. Good defensive stand by Ateneo, not allowing an easy look and forcing us out to a 24 second violation. Coach Franz Mano is livid with RD Bringas not following the play. He said he should have been at the post with that drop pass. One more second though, and that Kishko fade away would have counted. Yep. Nevertheless, this is still an Ateneo lead. At one, their biggest lead was three. LaSalle's biggest lead was a 10 for those of you who just joined us. Coach France giving up on the ice cold James Mangahas. Oh, back on the bench now. Not one of his one of his days. Buenafe taking the pass. They blitz him. And they now set up with 13. They go to Eric. Risky pass to Nico. Nico from 15. He loves that. Yeah. He loves that spot. Money shot for Nico Salvo out there. Money shot. Good recognition there by Eric Salamat. Nice assist. Salamat was lulling his goal. He was setting that up. He was setting that up. Yeah. Setting that up. Playing possible. Just ready to take it, but ball out of bounds. 19 on the shot clock of Basal. Who will they go to right now, DJ? Everybody's been called except for Joshua Webb. Alaves drives, left-handed shot is wild. Pagatsing puts it up and in. Wow, lucky break there as a left-handed layup hit nothing but air for Alaves. Here we go. Eric Salamat uses the roadblock. Salamat drives and the tip in. Nico Salva again saving Eric Salamat. Huge tip in there for Nico Salva. Just as I was saying earlier that they only have four second chance points. Yep. They put one in. The lead now is three. Look at Singh. Who is willing to take the shot for LaSalle? Step through. Oh. Turn away. But now turns it away. And Ateneo completes the defensive play. Ariel Nueva pulled off the bench. Came in for Joshua Webb. Kishko with a prayer of a jump shot in the middle of a land. He was so uncomfortable as Baclau erased that shot. And you know what, is gonna hold on to this ball as much as it can, as it will, and it can, as Salamat misses the three. Oh, nice defensive play by Ateneo. Baclau is down, it might be a finger straight here. I think so, and you can ask what's happening in the rack, and it's done, yeah. He's trying to stretch it out. But they're getting the hustle points here in crunch time. They've been losing all game long. In their right. hustle points, the all game long, I'd say about, what, 36 minutes they've lost in the hustle points. But in the last four minutes, when it counts the most, Ateneo's hustle has shown up. The effort and on board, as they call it. Baclau. So that, that is, Baclau is going to try to suck this one in. Can he cut it out? It's his left hand, thankfully for them, not his shot blocking hand, which is his right or shooting at, which is his right. But they're gonna have to pull him out. You're gonna probably see Justin Chua come in, or, no, they're playing small ball. We got Monfort, Reyes, Salamat, well, and then Buenafe at four. Nico Salva at five. And Joshua Webb is also back for LaSalle. Lucky for them, all they gotta do is inbound and, and shoot free throws. Yeah, exactly. now. But when they're gonna play defense, that's the question. Will they bring back Baclau? They have a one second differential of the game clock and shot clock. 23 and 24.7. So obviously, for all intents and purposes, Ateneo will hold on as much as he can to the ball and Kishko with a quick foul. Number 21, Kishko. How many fouls? Okay, so they are in the penalty already. So it's going to be checking the ice water in the veins. Who has it for Ateneo if they want to seal this from the foul line? Salamat shooting a very high 81% from the free throw line. What's wrong with Black now attending personally to Nonoy Baclau? As Eric Salaman is one out of one from the free throw line. 11 points, three rebounds, five assists, three steals for the former San Sebastian Stad. And this is probably the championship experience for Ateneo. Trying to win it in the fourth quarter. How many times have they done it this year? 
against Adamson, against FBU, against UE. And that's what championship teams do, you know? Sometimes you, you want to be game. tested early also. You don't want to go yeah. and run everybody out and blow out win. And even if the game itself is not going well, right. you still finish strong. Time out, tell us all but now, Archer. this is a two-possession game. And uh, what would you do if you were Coach Frank Romano? Obviously, quick two or big three. You have a You still have a lot of time. Quick two, then foul. A lot of time to go. Although Lasalle only has uh, no more timeouts left. Um, yeah, it's not like they've shot so well from the three-point area. They have yeah, shot uh, two out of the Web is back on the floor. Gonna hope for some more Web magic here. Also, Malahas, he was, who has not hit anything today. Back on the floor, together with Barua, who's also scoreless today. Here we go. Asal, inbounding. Brigas from up top. Gets oh, it to go! Please. Oh, what a big shot. Wow. You gotta be kidding. Was that the, the first option of that play? I don't think so. But nonetheless, what a booming three by Brigas. A booming triple it is. Quick foul call on Philip Mendoza. Exactly what they have to do. They couldn't get the steal on the inbounds play. So they foul Ryan Buenafer. Put him to the line. And how about RB Brigas if you missed it? Quick three over Nico Salva. He's two out of four from that. Let's look at that. He just takes it from up top, rises, reigns, and sends that baby home. And the way the play was drawn up and spaced out, it looked like it was an isolation for Bringas to drive down and if need be, kick out to PJ Baru in the corner. But Bringas said, why not? I'll take the three. I can hit it. Four out of eight from the field. Two out of four from beyond the arc. He gets that one to go for 10 points. So still again, the young players have kept LaSalle alive. Well, they've given them the leader. Well, they're all young anyway. They've kept them alive. <laughs> except they have veterans. They have a core of veterans move. Except for the bunch of rookies they have. The core of veterans have not been a factor today at all. They're, they're probably the youngest team by average right now. But we'll, we'll check on yep. that. Coach Franz himself said this is the youngest team he's, he's ever coached. handled. Yeah. Yeah. In the 11 years. In the meantime, the spotlight on Ryan Buenafe shooting free throws to make this at least a three-point lead. Buenafe, 67% of the free throw line, confidently knocks down two. Nore Baklao will raise the pain time out. on that left finger. Uh -huh. I don't know which one it is, but it's on his left hand where he sprayed it earlier. It's taped up now. The three fingers are all taped up now. 17 seconds. Here we go. Everybody standing up here at the Araneta Coliseum. A three-point shot or a three-point play to send this game into overtime. Six seconds. Bhagat Singh. Three seconds. Bhagat Singh puts it up. And oh! it's oh! in! Oh! 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 You've got to be kidding me! And no timeout. You have got to be kidding me! Is that going to have a timeout? A three-point shot. No timeout. No time but there's a substitution. Ray Lewis coming in the game for Kurt Long. Andrada coming in the game. For, looks like for Malahas. What a big three by Bucket in his first three of the ball game. Exactly. What a time to come. Eight tenths of a second and LaSalle all of a sudden from a flatlining team is still kicking. And they give the ball to LaSalle. I Was think. it topped out? Let's Was see, it topped by, by Andrada? The referee looks puzzled. Likewise, the referee at the baseline. Is it sure? Oh no, look out at the nail. LaSalle might be, have a chance to inbound from the baseline. Yes, they do. No timeouts. Eight tenths of a second. And at the nail, there's can, only four blue shirts only, on the floor. That's right. There's a little bit of a confusion right now for the Ateneo players. And LaSalle might take advantage of this. There are only, there's still only four, four on the floor. players. And Jai rushes, rushes back. There you go. And now, Transformaren will make a, an adjustment too. Here we go. All right. Let's set it down, boys. The South would snatch this one. <laughs> That's enough time for a ball fake even. To a ball fake and a quick shot. Crazier things have happened. RV puts it up. Oh, and man. we will go we into overtime. Who is higher of Bucket Singh? Sends this baby into an extra session. 67 all. Hiram 
saw Barua, but said, I'll take it. Fly by move. He lets it fly. He rises, rains, and he drains. He lets Bagun Austria fly by there, and then puts it up and gets it to go. Wow. For the overtime session, which we will all enjoy. And please, it's his left hand. And I'm saying, it is gut check time once again. Up the players, the teams, and everybody here actually in Araneta Coliseum oh, now yeah. are gutting it out. An extra session. Brought to us by PS Bank, simply lang maaasahan. Here we go, for the extra five minutes. Boom Gonzalez, DJ Manoto, live and exclusive for ABS-CBN Sports. And Bacal shows that his right hand, at least, is still working. Nice pass there by Ryan Buenafe, attracting the defense, giving Baklao an open 15-footer, something he can make. Five points, 11 rebounds, and three blocks for Norway Baklao. Again, it's Baklao on Josh Robert. Barua finally DJ makes something. He is zero out of three before that shot. Again, an overtime session for LaSalle. The last time they were in overtime was against USD. That was two overtime, two overtimes too. Wasn't that a Sunday too? Yep. <laughs> What's about Sundays in overtime, huh? <laughs> Sunday should be light work. <laughs> Traveling infraction called on Eric Salaman. And it's Norman Black looking to join FEU, who, by the way, won against UE today, so they are at 6 and 1. But they are 5 and 1. In the meantime, LaSalle wants to spoil that and come up with a five game winning streak with a win today. Or should I say, tonight? Marua trying to check if he's still hot. Bring us. Oh, too much aggression. Time. Too much time. aggression. Yep. Well, he had the right thing in mind to go straight up, but he banged too hard on Nico Salva, who took the charge. Look at the right shoulder. He Ooh, wanted the power out. dribble. That's that's a power bang, <laughs> not just a power dribble. That's painful right in the bread basket right there. And Bakla was there all over that shot anyway. That shot wouldn't have gone anyway. He's telling him. We're at the other end of the court now. Bakla reminding him, if you had that shot, I would have blocked it anyway. <laughs> Welcome to the UAAP, eh? Rookie Arvi Brinas against the finals MVP and defensive player of the year, Nanay Bakao. Reyes has been quiet for a while, and he remains Not quiet. A good shot. Not a good shot for Ateneo. Early the shot block, too. Hiram, tough pass. But he well recovers. Hiram asking for it. He's up against Jai Reyes. Hiram goes to the spin cycle, kicks it out. Nobody there. Battle for the loose ball, it's Good a tail ball. Last touch there by P.J. Baruas. He and Buenafet go for the loose ball. Good hustle effort there by Ryan Buenafet. Hiram checking his kisser as Ryan and Hiram come into contact. 18 turnovers by De La Salle, 19 for Ateneo. La Salle averaging 20, Ateneo averaging 16. Good. Three minute mark. And we're still at 69 all. Buena fit to Salamat. Salamat has been playing tirelessly for Ateneo. Goes to the spin move, recovers just in time and draws the foul. Lucky break too, lucky break. You see, there's no more lift for oh, Eric Salamat. He was, he's tired, there was no legs in that release. He got bailed out there with a bump from PJ Barua. Three free throws for Eric Salamat. 27 minutes on the floor for Eric Salamat. But those have been 27 hard minutes. He is tired. There have been times he was even guarding Joshua Webb. Well, Joshua, 33 minutes for Joshua Webb. Really, about... His these players are not going to walk out of this Coliseum. And that's all, mind you, that's almost triple. Almost tripled the average of minutes of Joshua Webb, averaging 30, uh, only 13 minutes of average. Salamat back irons that one, so it is an odd one point lead. 7 69 in overtime here at the Araneta Coliseum. Bringas finds the stroke, that's a little long. Barua saving it. Oh, that's a good backing. That's a good call. Backing violation. Backing right there. I think the players are getting tired. Do you, you sense that, they, right? You know, normally at the end of South game, the average 40 minutes is already so great. It's true to everybody, to, to us, to the crowd. 
to the coaches and the players. It's more than a usual game because of the emotions involved. And then you send it to some other, to, more, to five more minutes. Wow, you feel the crowd is a little drained. Right They're looking for that one big burst for their respective teams to close out the other team. Buena Fe against Webb. He's giving him his right. Talking about Webb, he's giving him his right. But Benefit goes to the left, comes back to the right, retains that dribble with eight on the shot clock. Fades away at short. Look at Bacalao. Oh, 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 on the floor. Or Tishko to match up with the size at least of Nore Bacalao. And Arty Brigas did not even try to box out Bacalao. No Rafa Aluseni, no problem. Five offensive rebounds as we enter the second last two minute call of this game. Brought to us by PS Bank, Sipke Lampa Asahan. Webb has cooled down. He's tired. And two. Next. And we are in the penalty. So the hero Falls regulation. Out of the, yeah. the other hero regulation, the Anatya Singh, it was also RV Bringas with that big three. They got the lead down to one. He fouls out talking about Bhagat Singh and comes in Malabis. You know, the funny thing about this game when you go back to say stats or whatever, if you've been watching from the very start, there's no trend. None. Like, who's leading it yeah. who and wh what's the advantage? Yep. There's no trend at all. Which this is just players exactly. making plays. Exactly. It's either a turnover, a missed shot, or a made shot. But it's been a pendulum swinging game. And you got to love that about these two teams. Again, yep. statistics are now just, you know, footnote. for Bacon, Austria. We'll get possession here. So we got a shot of Jiggy Aquino Cruz. Grandson of former President Cory Aquino, who everybody here is honoring by wearing yellow. And playing an awesome yep. game. Exactly. 74, 69. Salva on Brinas. 12 on the 24. Malabes, eye to eye against Kurt Long. They reverse the ball. Manaasa has been awful the whole game and he continues to struggle in and out on that triple. And he was wide, wide open because there was confusion between Paklao and Buenafe as to who would rotate to him. One at 113. Manaas, zero out of six from the field in this game. That's how ice cold he has been. Jai stops for a three. That's wild. The tap going nowhere. Up the foot of Baklao. Okay, so it will go to LaSalle with 59 seconds. Five point lead. I think we all need a timeout. Coach Frank Romano is going to try to draw something here. Somebody on the bench of Ateneo is lying down because of cramps. I don't know if that's Salama will check in after the Samson timeout with Samson Imagination Lives. What magic can they come up with here this time? Barua. Kurt Long up in his grill. The switch off, Barua left open, the Kurt Long recovering, Brinas goes to his right, puts up a long shot, that's wild. It goes to Malabis, three to shoot, Malabis puts Bang! it in and okay. gets it to go! This is what I was about to say, what magic are they going to come up with? This is not over. Only a two point game and they got across the half court line. And they do. Salva marches in, no need for Lasalle to foul. Got a 12 second differential, game clock and shot clock. Benefit with possession. Webb and Mangas waiting for his move. Salva rotates. What's oh, it? Oh, man. He is able to get it up and in. Talk about magic and luck. He breaks. That was way short, just trickled in. Four point lead, 13 seconds remaining. Lasalle needs a three. Malabis will throw one and another one, and that's wild. And Ateneo with a repossession. And Joshua trying to foul. And clock winding oh, down oh, ever so quickly oh, for LaSalle. And Buena Fe hearing it from the Ateneo side. Oh, 3.2 seconds remaining in overtime. Everything happened in a blur. Oh, oh man. man. I remember, remember it hit the turning point in regulation. With that unsportsmanlike like foul, a pair of them called on the, the, the pure green, La Salle graduates, Atkins and Webb, their emotions getting over them. 
controlling them. There was unsportsmanlike fouls called on them, which made it a four-point swing for Ateneo that gave them the lead, the cushion, enough to absorb the run of Lasal to go to overtime and brought down to this. And Buena Fe taking it away as RV pitches it. Well, and again, DJ Ateneo able to cut it. Got it out, got out the win, and joined FEU at the top of the leaderboard. We were talking about Hart a couple of times in this game. Lasal had it 35 minutes of this game. And then Atenea rediscovered their heart in the dying minutes of the game. They did not let the momentum of the three-point shots in regulation and the three-point shot by Malabes in the, well, just a while back. They did not let that momentum carry over. No, not like the USD.